Currently in Prince George, it's minus one and overcast, zero and overcast in Quinnell, plus two and partly cloudy in Williams Lake, and minus one in 100 Mile. I'm Heather Murdoch, Caribou Radio News. And welcome to Midday Contemporary. I'm Zane Sampson. Here's a short note from the club calendar. The 100 Mile Cancer Society will stage a fundraising bingo on April the 26th. That's a Sunday. And will take place in the 100 Mile Community Hall at 1 p.m. and features a $100 jackpot. Currently a handful of minutes after 1 o'clock and minus 1. In business, timing is everything. And radio is the number one circulation medium in the daytime when so many people do their shopping. Radio reaches more adults than either TV or newspapers during the daytime hours. Talk to your customers when they're deciding to buy. Advertise on radio and reach more people at just the right time to be remembered. Buying time. Radio. Red hot because it works. The Radio Advertising Bureau can send you more facts. This station can send you more customers. Flashback. The river must flow. It's good sounds of Gino Vanelli and the river must flow. Zane Sampson on Midday Contemporary. Prison drops their lead vocalist. I'll have more right after this. We're gonna do whatever's right for you. If you are looking for a good buy on a used truck, call around to Lake City Ford Land and 100 Mile and talk to manager Larry Shepard. Larry? Thanks, Ken. We've just taken in on trade a 1980 F-150 4x4, 404 speed, with only 22,000 kilometers on it. This truck is like new. This unit also qualifies for for Lake City Ford's own special financing rate of 15.75 on approved credit based on a 36-month contract. Shop around, compare rates, and come back to Lake City Ford for your 15.75% interest rate. Ford, we're gonna do what's right. We're gonna do whatever's right. Do whatever's right. Do whatever's right for you. That's Lake City Ford Land on Highway 97. Ron Taddock out, Henry Small in. That's startling news from the prison camp where Canada's Juno Award-winning top group dropped a bombshell by firing their lead singer. Taddock, who's been with prison since its inception, was reported to be surprised by the decision, but is expected to stay with Capitol Records and eventually release a solo album. His replacement, Henry Small, is well known in the music circles, having performed with Lover Boy, uh, Burton Cummings, and is and is and was performing with his own group Small Wonder which recorded for CBS more recently Small has been recording with Toto and at one point was rumored to be joining the Los Angeles based band although Tubbett's vocals have been the mainstay of the prison minute image manager Bruce Allen felt that he was lacking as a fr frontman the acquisition of Small is expected to help remedy this problem and is also expected to help give Prism credibility in the U.S., a market the group was anxious to crack. Here's some pink music for you. It's Andy Gibb. Time is time. greatest hits. You know, ever since I saw John Cougar on Solid Gold, I just had to run out and buy the 45. 
ain't even done with tonight. This is Pearl Kapoopa on Midday Contemporary. 22 minutes after 1 o'clock. Stay tuned, won't you? good sounds of John Cougar ain't even done with the night. To the people who cared, my sincere thanks to my countless friends and relatives who sent flowers and their support while I spent three months in the Kamloops Hospital. And that's signed Cindy. Ladies Western Fashion Boots, sale priced at $69.99, Mugboards 100 Mile. It's crime It's a group by the name of Rough Trade, a Canadian talent, new release, and it's climbing right up there on charts. That's called High School Confidential. Speaking of high school, I'll have some high school news from the Ogden right after this. The eligible electorate in the municipality of 100 Mile House is urged to get out and vote today in the village automatic by-election. Vote as you please, but please vote. The polls are open today from 8 a.m. to 8 o'clock this evening at the 100 Mile House Village Office Council Chambers. Exercise your franchise, your democratic right, by casting your ballot on this election day. This community message is brought to you as a public service by CKBX Radio in 100 Mile House. And now for Ogden News. First of all, I'd like to say that I think the school board planned to have the break when the weather would be so awful. They'll do anything to make the life of us students miserable. Now, when school gets back to normal, the students will have an opportunity to take part in this year's milk run. What is a milk run? Well, that's where students run, jog, or walk in the course set out by the school, and at the end, students receive a carton of milk, a sticker, and a certificate saying they took part in Milk Run 1981. Students will make donations to a worthy cause. The student council is in the process of arranging their second school dance. The prospective group is the boys who played at our last dance. The tentative date set for this is May 22nd. Also, the very busy Karina Rosanzoff is trying to get together a fun day. The progress report will be submitted as soon as pos possible. And that's it for school news this week. Enjoy your holiday. You'll need it.